Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name's Jason Newland and this is Let Me Bore You to Sleep Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes What else should I say? Um, As per usual lately Andre's become very animated just as I started to record and he's running around I'm hoping he's going to go back into his bag and go to sleep but he's now having a drink he rubs his chin into the water like rub and moves it from side to side so I don't know if that's He's saving some water for later so he can have a little drink when he's in his bag. So he's now eating some dry food. So basically what he does, he, and they're like little biscuits, little dry you know, things you give to your cats, those kind of things. They drop some onto the floor as he picks it up with his mouth he drops it on the floor or he carries it to another part of the room drops it on the floor like I'm going to steal it from him and you can hear him almost rip the carpet up as he's trying to eat it or you can hear his crunch 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 he's literally hiding from me If you can hear that, it's the carpet and him crunching. The carpet's not crunching, but you know. So, I'd just like to thank William for your comment, uh, your testimonial that you uh, Maybe it's because I've got the bright light on. That's keeping him awake. Oh, he's gone into his bag now. I actually thought about, and I've been thinking about this for a while, getting a shed and putting it in, in my flat. And then decking the shed out with my soundproofing material that I've already got on my walls. And then hopefully I'll be able to make recordings without any background sound. However... It's, you know they're not they're not cheap to buy although I was going to buy one it's, I'd get it off the catalogue so I'd pay I'd pay it back monthly over I don't know six months or something and the one I was going to buy was actually £250 a couple of months ago now it's £219 So I'm thinking if I wait a couple of years, it'll be maybe five pound. But that's probably not realistic. Although, ah, coming up to Christmas, as we're now at the end of September, maybe in the Christmas sale or the January sales, they might be a lot cheaper. I might be able to get it for a hundred pound cheaper. I hadn't thought of that. Ah. Mmm. Hadn't even considered it. Be 
he's he's quiet now. He's in his bed. He's boy. Well, he's in his bag. I can see him staring at me through the bag. This is that time when every time I move, if I go to the toilet or if I just go into the kitchen or just stand up, he runs out of the bag because he wants to go out for a walk. And it is five minutes past two in the morning and I am not going outside at this time in the morning. New, 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 new. Not gonna happen. So he's gonna have to make do with being inside. But he's he's loving this weather. This is perfect weather for him. Those in between seasons are his favourite, like spring and autumn. Uh, you call you might call autumn fall, but it's it's supposed to be called autumn. <laughs> and it's those temperatures. They're kind of at the moment. It's not cold and it's not warm. It's just cool. Just like me, very cool. And that's how he likes it. Which means he wants to go out more and more. So I guess between now and probably December, he's going to be annoying. It's quite funny though, sometimes in December or January he'll be like, oh, daddy, take me out, take me out. And I will, and it'll be freezing cold outside. And as soon as I put him on the ground, he tries to come back in the, in the front door again, wants to come back. And I say, no, no. And he won't move, and I pick him up, and he climbs into my jacket, inside my jacket. So he doesn't even want to be out. Unless it's snowing. He likes the snow. So, yeah, my I was saying thank you to William, who posted a testimonial. Uh, so thank you very much for that. And if you would like to post a testimonial on my website, please do. Let other people know how you've benefited. And also gives me a bit of a lift as well so it's quite nice there's different ways you can contact me uh, and also if you would like to uh, you can gift me send me paypal gift or a book or i've even got super supermarket vouchers so i can buy myself some food you know just little things like that it's always nice and uh, because I bought myself a magazine today it's called Psychologies and it costs £4.50 so I'm invested in this I've also got rid of all the adverts again so they're gone and just been thinking about the future and this is really cool. There's, uh, there's a lady on the front page and there's kind of a close-up of her face and she's got something in between her teeth. Got like a bit of food or something. How brilliant is that? Could just be the lighting. It's not spinach, but it's... Looks like she's maybe had a digestive biscuit. There's a bit of biscuit in there. I might be wrong. Doesn't really matter, does it? I don't know why. Why do you keep asking? Why do you keep going on about it? I don't care. So I got this magazine, Psychologies magazine. Uh, so it's October 2019 edition. So if you have any, I'm not saying boring because I don't find psychology boring it's very interesting to me but listening to <laughs> listening to me t 
talk about and reading little bits and excerpts from it won't be exciting it'll be far from which is kind of the point oh I've just opened up a page and it smells lovely see that's the thing about the internet you can't get the smell of the print off the magazine page or the book page mmm smells nice and eventually I suppose there'll be no magazines at all. It'll all disappear. Which is... Yeah. It was a shame for me, probably for other people as well, because I quite like... paper things. Not everything, you know. I'm surprised that they don't try and do away with toilet paper if they could. What are they going to start? <laughs> it's like saying we have to, we have to recycle toilet paper. Must be recycled. Did it? Did So I don't recall the last time I bought this magazine it has been a while since but the front page it says keep calm train yourself to stop worrying which is useful of course it's very helpful stuff I'll have a look see what it says there and the other side of the page, basically either side of her ears, a picture of, I don't know who it is. Uh, you can find love, learn the real secrets to dating success. And then a 16 page dossier saying, create the career you want. Five ways to find fulfillment at work. Love your job. We show you how. And then we love in there's a big yellow circle. Jessic Jessica Chastain. Powerful, positive, passionate. I don't know who she is at all, I've never heard of her. But she may be famous, I don't, I don't know. I mean, perhaps, she might be a famous psychologist. I mean, it is supposed to be about psychology after all, this magazine. You know, the last time I remember, I think, buying this, well, maybe they're not the last time, but a particular time, was I visited my cousin who was in living in Somerset with his girlfriend and it was 2003 and it'd be summertime maybe September August September time maybe July uh, it's, you know, it was summer anyway people were on the beach and stuff not everywhere, and not everyone either, I mean, uh, but there was, it wasn't Bognor Regis, it was, not Pontins, oh, I forget the name of it, but anyway, I visited, and it was a long journey, it's long, it was a bus, or, you know, coach journey, long journey that's probably yeah a good six hours I think and I I don't even remember what happened coming back 
but for some reason I was stranded at where was I I think I might have missed the coach so I had to get the train back which was a few different train journeys and I ended up I think having to wait for about two hours for the next train um, that's not how I remember it that might have been I don't know I know on the journey there I met a a lady who was sitting opposite me no, yeah, sitting the other side of the bus not at the back and I was at the front but she was sitting th in a chair next to me and I got talking to her and um, I remember she was asking me she was from somewhere uh, and she was saying asking me if I had my own home and if I had a car and which was uh, seemed like strange questions I thought was she was doing a survey and she gave me a telephone number and I think I phoned her when I got back but I can't remember what happened I don't I didn't meet up with her and I think it might be one of those awkward conversations like hello is that Abby yeah who's that it's Jason who Jason who Jason Jason who who uh, I met you on the on the coach what coach on the coach coming to Somerset when I was there two weeks ago Really? I said, yeah. Are you sure it's me? Well, I've got your telephone number. Have you? Yeah, I just dialed it. How do you know it's my telephone number? Because you answered the phone. Ah, but I answered the phone whoever's phone rings I answer what yeah wherever I am someone phones someone's phone rings I answer it even if I'm in the coffee coffee shop or something um, someone's phone I just pick it up off the table and I answer it or take it out of their handbag or their pocket I say hello Abby here I can I help I said, are you serious? She said, yeah, yeah, that's what I like to do. It's, uh, it's my hobby. I said, okay, we've kind of gone off track a little bit. She said, yeah, but that's what you do though, isn't it? I said, what? I said, you don't even know me. I've we only met on the bus. She said, yeah, but you, you're always going off track. And you start with one subject and then you end up talking about something completely different you know you start talking about where you live and you end up talking about elephant poo I thought I'd, I've never ever talked about well I don't think I'm pretty sure I've never talked about elephant poo she said that was just an example I said, an example of what? 
She said it's an example of what you do. You just lose track and you wander off to a different topic just completely. I said, when? She said, when you make the recordings. Especially when you do those let me bore you to sleep recordings constantly. Right? And I said, what? She said, do you remember the other day when you were going to do a tour of your hallway? You were going to do a tour of your flat and you started off in the hallway. You didn't get any further than the light bulb in the hallway. That's as far as you got. And you still ended up talking for over an hour. I said, oh, you listened to that. Did you like it? She said, no. Oh, okay. Why not? She said, I got bored and I fell asleep. I said, well, that's kind of the point. She said, don't, don't patronise me. She said, don't patronise me. And I said, anyway... I don't make recordings. I don't start doing that until 2006. We're now in 2003. She said, oh, okay. I forgot what year we were in. I said, yeah, plus I don't start doing the let me bore you to sleep recordings until 2018. Kind of like January, February time. She said, oh, I see. That's ages away. That's like 15 years or something, isn't it? I said, yeah, it is. She said, wow. I can't believe you're still doing that after all those years. I said, I know. She said, do you remember the very first time you thought about making recordings online? I said, yeah, I do. Remember that? She said, well, why don't you tell everybody? I said, okay, well. So I was, I was in my cousin's, same cousin I visited in Somerset, funny enough. But when he was living in London, and I was living in London, I used to go round to his house, and we used to make recordings. We used to record songs. And I'd he'd do the music and I'd write the songs and I'd sing them and it's you know and his dad would also come and sort of join in and do because he was a musician and then one day I think it was probably in 1999 or 2000 I I played around and did an audio just a, a relaxation recording just like, you know, you are now relaxed, calm, and ever so relaxed, 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 and so much more relaxed. And it was one of the best recordings I ever did. It was, I lost it. I didn't, didn't store it or anything. I don't know where it went. But I kind of did a little jokey one as well, so it was a bit silly. So I actually did make my first recording, or the beginning of a first recording, long before I started making them online in 2006. In fact, before that I used to make recordings for myself. I made some relaxation sessions and some hypnosis sessions for myself to listen to in 2003 and 2004 so I used to make these I kind of plan what I wanted to get out of them and I would talk into the I'd have like a little recorder mini recorder thing talk into that and then I'd play it back uh, in order to help myself 
with the situation I was going through at the time. And I guess all those things, I suppose, planted the seed towards doing this now. Hmm. So I've got this magazine. So let's have a look at the magazine. Oh, another thing I've done. I've just got... I've just uh, purchased 10 websites. Um, space for 10 websites, rather. Rather than... So basically, I've already got the domains. You know, like let me bore you to sleep com and deepsleepwhisper.com and sleephypnosisweekly.com and you know that stuff so I've already got the domains and I've got the web space which I used to have before and I got rid of it now I've got it again so all those websites will be up and running very soon um, but my website, my main website, is always going to be jasonnewland.com. But for this podcast, or also, you know, the let me boy to sleep.com is going to be there as well. Available to, you know, use if... Because I know that some people... Well, I don't know, but I imagine... Some people um, are very much into, let's say, this podcast over others. Some people would be really into the uh, anxiety podcast I've got or the uh, what other ones have I got? Oh yeah, Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis podcast. So everyone's, I guess, has got their favourite stuff. Unfortunately, I wish I had a favourite ferret right now. It's not Andre. So he runs out of his bag. He scratches himself. And then he runs back into the bag. And he's not awake when he's doing it. He runs out of the bag and goes to the toilet. And he's not awake. Because I've seen him sometimes. He gets out and he scratches himself. I pick him up. Not always, but sometimes I pick him up and I'll just cuddle him. He's fast asleep. And then he'll wake up and he'll look up at me and it makes him jump. Like, what are you doing? Who are you? And he like, you know, especially if I'm holding him, like, bite me and run off. Not hard, but just, it's like, he it does squeaks a little bit and then runs away. Almost like, what were you doing? Get off me. You're not my real dad. Yes, I am, Andre. I really am. So. Those websites. At the moment. I'm in the process of migrating. The main website. Hopefully into the. The package of 10 websites. Hosts. So that I can get rid of the other podcast payment of £10 a month because I don't need that as well so ok let's have a look So this is this is Psychology's magazine, but I'm reading it 
and it almost looks like it's a different type of magazine. And um, I don't want to be generalizing here, but I'll give you some of the uh, headlines, so the features. Where did everybody go? A mother at 21, empty nester V. Say, is now living alone for the first time and feeling lost. Could art therapy help her start the next chapter? of her life so that's a lady so next one shared values best selling author Karen Slaughter talks about why she decided not to change her surname no talks about inspiration gratitude and healthy work life balance Uh, the next one, so that's that's uh, a woman there. Next one, my dating life is a dead end. Award-winning coach Kim Morgan assists a woman who can't find a partner in the pool of single men. Okay. In love with Costa Rica. That's uh, with Ellen Tout. Uh, 48 hours, four countries in one weekend. What's this got to do with psychology? But Lizzie Enfield doesn't have to go far for a feast of history and geographical beauty. Romantic lifestyle. English country charm and French shabby chick blend seamlessly for simple and soothing rooms. This is for the retreat. This is the headline for that. Okay, so let's go to real wellness. Mind wellness. That's good. Okay, the next one. Women's health. Endometriosis. Well-being expert Henrietta Norton on food to support disorders of the reproductive tract. That's good. Real echo or eco. Planet-friendly periods. Echo living editor Ellen Tout. Oh, she's popped up again. And now and read the panel seeds grow products with green credentials echo warrior or eco warrior puzzled by perma permaculture ellen tout again learns more about communities living in harmony with nature and happy gut nutrition editor eve kalinick explores the vagus nerve's role in the crucial gut-brain connection. Ah. I don't know who this is aimed at. Because it's almost as if there's no men writing for it. Which is not, I'm not bothered about that, but I'm just thinking. Because I read a, a woman's, one of the women's magazines recently. And I'm just skimming through it. There's, there's literally no pictures of men, which I find. Oh, and there is one picture. There is a and but the one man's got a woman's name, Andrea. You can't ever can't be called Andrea. 
Andrea De Santis. He's an illustrator. Andrea, I dated someone called Andrea once. Andrea, Andrea lives in it- Italy, Italy, and began drawing when he was a child. Forever looking for ways to challenge his imagination. He was formerly a graphic designer, but illustration has always been his passion. Six years ago, he pursued this as a freelance illustrator, working with publications across the globe. He loves to create surreal, playful artworks and each month illustrates our column with barefoot coaching. Page 52. Ah. So these say meet three of the people who have taken part in the creation of psychologies. Wow. The team editor in chief Susie Waller Walker Walker Design Director Lynn Lanning Creative Director Laura Doherty Features Director Elizabeth Heathcote Associate Editor Danielle Woodward and Anita Chowdhury Wellness Director Ali Roth Farrar. Oh, he's a man. There's one man. Eco Living Editor, Features Writer and Digital Tool Editor Ellen Tout. Production Editor V. Say. Deputy Production Editor. Leona Gerard Contributing Editors Amin Rushjan Gut E. Valinik I've got no idea who that is, is that a name? Uh, retreat Oh, okay Amin uh, Caroline Catherine and Emma. Wow. So it's like that's a lot of females, and it's not a female magazine. I'm not saying it should be a female magazine or a male magazine because, of course, we're all fluid these days, aren't we? But I was, I don't know, just, I thought there'd be a kind of 50-50 or, I wonder, I need to find out who, oh look, okay, features, Gail Donnan, us, another person helps you reclaim your power in stressful situations don't worry so much confronting her negativity born warrior Lizzie Enfield finds she can calm her fretful state of mind after all this will be a man I think a man will be this bit my Life, My Way. Writer and artist Tiffany Francis loves connecting people with the land, animals and each other. 
This this will be a man. The next one will be done by a man. He's offensive when drunk. Our agony aunt, Mary Fenwick, gives her unique perspective to three readers with dilemnas. Bird watching for beginners. That'll be a man. Susie Walker makes devered friends. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? And Psychology's Life Leap be part of our club. Our online coaching club is free to subscribers. See page 80. Access interactive videos, podcasts, and workbooks. Plus, join a kind community of like-minded people. Join us at psychologies.co.uk forward slash life dash leap dash club dash new dash subscribers. And it's given an offer where you can get six issues for £16. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six issues including... No, it's not including this one. So it's the previous six issues. And on each cover, there's a picture of a lady, a different lady. And so the first advert in here is for mantra jewelry. Feel inspired every day, wear a mantra. We create meaningful jewelry designed to inspire and uplift. Each piece symbolizes a specific mantra intended to make a positive impact on the way you feel. So these are some of the mantras. Uh, Where am I? Here. When is it? Now. And the other one has got everything I need is already within me, which is true. And it says here, a piece of jewellery can't change the world, but it can change the way you feel. And that can change your world. And that's Joe Stroud, Mantra Founder. Ah. Let me see if there's any connection. I like to let's see, I'm just gonna have a little look. Okay, right, so that's the first advert. The second advert is sleep well naturally, non-drowsy support for your best night's sleep. And it's called Link Nutrition, night food based. Food based minerals with lemon balm and Montmorency cherry. 60 capsules food supplement. Reduces tiredness and fatigue. Magnesium contributes to reduction of tiredness and fatigue into normal psychological functioning. All natural ingredients, gently formulated with 
reishi mushrooms, lemon balm, Montmorency cherry, and the amino acid glycine. Free from added nasties, no added fillers, binders, or excipients, whatever that means, made with a vegetable cellulose capsule suitable for vegetarians. Oh, there's a discount for that as well. Ah, let me see what other adverts there is. Oh, you can inspire change. There's no such thing as a born warrior, says Graham Davy, page 24, author of the Anxiety Epidemic, Little Brown, 1499, the cost. And labelling yourself in this way will make it much more difficult for you to change. Do you typecast yourself? Is it helping or hampering you? This month, the theme of the magazine is thinking about the changes that you want in your life and figuring out ways to make them happen. In our 16-page dossier, on page 64, we delve deeper into how you can make a career shift that fulfills and delights you. I'm not sure the last time I was delighted. I don't I don't know anyone really that's ever told me that they were delighted. I say, Are you alright? No one's ever said, Oh yeah, I'm delighted. Yeah, I don't it's not really a word that well it is a word. Um, I should get my dictionary out and check it. It's definitely a word. But... Oh, I'm delighted. It's not, it's not something that I would say. There's been times when... I suppose I could have said that. Maybe when I've been in a like a cafe or something like that just had some food and the waiter or waitress comes over and says how was your food was everything okay and I could have said I'm delighted it was delightful instead of what I would normally say uh yeah acceptable Average. Which I'm sure didn't leave the staff feeling delighted. But I was only joking about. Exception. Ex yeah. Not exceptional, but it's... Exceptional. Acceptable exception. Uh, our production editor, VC or VC, goes on an art therapy retreat. That'd be interesting to read. Page 44. And ponders forgiving, uh, forging a vision for herself after big changes at home. Her piece made me cry and I feel gently hopeful for all of us. Everything is possible. If you want to look at the world with fresh eyes, join the free urban mindfulness workshop with Street Wisdom, part of the annual, annual Worldwide Wonder. <clears throat> so... Okay... So now advertising. 
So on page three, now page seven, they're advertising six issues for £16 again. So I wonder how many times they'll advertise that. So now I'm just looking through. Send your letters. Ah. Uh, ah, oh, oh, see. Uh. I want the same fellow whisper in there. Even the letters are from women. It's got to be... Anyway, when I was in Somerset, there was a two hour delay for the train. So I went and walked up to, I think it was like a petrol station, but it had stuff in it. Like a big WH Smiths or something, and or a little WH Smiths. Or medium sized, I don't know. And I bought some magazines. One of which was, perhaps it wasn't this one. It might have just been a, had the word psychology, which I thought this was. Mind you, her hair is covering up part of the name. It is Psychologies, yeah, Psychologies. There's another advert here. Um, it is a a chance. Uh, it's a, a um, uh, charity uh, aimed at women, for women. That's all I'll say about that. But this, it's just jumped out at me. It's like, where's there's no men. Where's the men? I don't need there to be any men, but I just just noticed. Every day brings a chance for you to draw in a breath, kick off your shoes and dance. Uh, Oprah Winfrey said that. Well, she's quite busy, isn't she? So she manages to take her shoes off and dance. So here's the fix. Thought-provoking culture, creative ideas, insightful science and inspiring gifts. Kindness through hard times. Author David Hamilton is an advocate of kindness. Here... He sings the praises of self-compassion. And this is what he says. A little picture of him. A little round picture. Just manages to fit his hair in. And he's got a, a V-neck top on. And it just cuts off the, the pointy end of the V-neck. And... He's quite happy. Yeah, he looks fairly cheer, cheer, cheerful. Cheer, cheer, cheerful. Being kind to yourself can include doing things you enjoy. Now, I'm an advocate of being kind to yourself. Isn't it weird I use the word advocate? Because that's what they said about him. But uh, I don't really use that word for myself normally. But being kind to yourself is very important. So being kind to yourself can include doing things you enjoy, as well as cutting down on activities that cause you stress. It can also mean saying yes when you want to say no, when you want to, and importantly, and include having self-compassion, showing understanding, and empathy 
to yourself regarding your present or past. In fact, research shows that this can have powerful health benefits. In a recent study of patients undergoing treatment, for example, self-compassion was shown to be connected to the degree and severity of the systems, the symptoms of uh, depression, anxiety, fatigue, people with greater self-compassion experience fewer of those emotional emotions throughout the course of their treatment, proving the importance of being kind to number one. Hmm. I mean, being kind to yourself is it's one of those things that seems obvious, but in another way, it probably isn't obvious to everybody because it's, I suppose, for some people, can almost feel like being selfish or something. But you know, if you're the pilot of a sh of a of a plane. you have to take care of yourself you know I'd really like to say something deep now but I can't think of anything that other than was someone has to land the plane safely and if the pilot ain't there there's no one to pilot the plane then those 200 people or 300 people on the plane uh, you know might not enjoy the bumpy ride but if that pilot the pilot needs to make sure that he or she is well and relaxed and calm and not be worrying about the what's going on with the passengers that's what the other staff are there for he's there to concentrate or she's there to concentrate on or they are there to concentrate all of them on the plane flying thing pilots do uh, mindful journeys let's have a look at more of the adverts <sighs> oh this looks interesting our friends at audible which I'm a member of Share the magic of ancient folklore, reinvented for modern times. Hag, which is by Daisy It's just all women again. This <laughs> was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight different ladies uh wrote this. So, exploring otherness, identity, faith, religion, gender, and trauma. Hag is a collection of eight short stories that are timely and wickedly sinister. Each one is inspired by an unpublished folk tale sourced from across the UK by Caroline Larrington a specialist in Old Norse and British fairy tales at St John's College Oxford these haunting stories have been reimagined and brought into the 21st century by 
female writers local to each region. Hag draws listeners into the myths and legends that have shaped the UK's storytelling heritage. So uh. uh, look at it. It says here. 238 is the average number of words a person reads per minute. According to a new study, 60 words less than previously thought. I don't think I read that many words in a minute. More like 238 an hour. So there's another advert for Link Food. But they've turned it into some kind of uh, article. So this one, Lessons in Adulthood. Satisfaction guaranteed. In the current climate of self-improvement and mindset changing, have we begun to feel guilty about pleasure? Asks Harriet Minter. Hmm. I shall be reading that. What's the next page? Every single page has got a picture of a woman. There's no pictures of men at all. It's, I don't think I've ever read a magazine that just didn't have any pictures of men. It's almost like it's a different world. Well, maybe men don't exist anymore. That'd be weird, wouldn't it? And I was the last man on Earth. And the rest of the planet was just all women. I might have a chance of getting a girlfriend then. Oh, it's an advert for Become Qualified in Rapid Transformational Therapy and enjoy a rewarding and fulfilling career improving lives even with no previous therapy experience working when where and with whom you wish don't just change your career change your life and the lives of others oh ok I've not heard of uh, rapid transformational therapy I may google that and have a little look so there's a thing called de-stress. How to de-stress. Gail Donnan. Psychology's life leap ambassador and author. Helps you reclaim your power 
from stressful situations. Cool, I should read that. Okay, Jessica Chastain. So this is the article, she's on the front cover. So this is her article now. And the headlines is, I want to be able to play characters that will represent women as leaders and fighters. A foremost advocate of female empowerment in the film industry, Jessica Chastain's latest movie might be a horror, but there's nothing chilling about her talent determination and sense of fairness the second oh she's in yeah okay I have seen her I just don't recognise her she's been in films that I've watched oh. she's in a film that I watched recently I've no idea who she is I really don't. She's been in lots of big films. She was in Molly's Game. Wow. Isn't that strange? Maybe I just... If I saw her as the character... You know that she was in. Let's have a little look. No, she was in The Martian. She was in. Uh, the Life of Molly. Uh, Molly's Game, and she was the zookeeper's wife. Okay, so I'll move on from that. Lizzie Enfield considered herself a born warrior and accepted she just had to live with that, but then came the possibility of change. The headline is, Don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, be happy. So, I might read that another time. And... Okay, so... Now there's a picture of a lady on a horse. I don't dwell on awful things. Enough people are doing that. I want to inspire and uplift. Nature writer and artist Tiffany Francis loves connecting people with the land, animals and each other. Words, Ellen Tout. Photographs, Leanne Bracey. Uh, oh, it's got a nice house. It's very artistic. Lots of pictures and stuff and books. Yeah. There's a, I've heard pictures of over dogs. So now this is our agony aunt Mary Fenwick offers a new perspective on whatever is troubling you. Mary Fenwick is a writer speaker and executive coach. She's also a mother, divorcee and widow. Got a question for Mary? Email Mary at psychologies.co.uk with Mary in the subject line. Follow Mary on Twitter at MJ Fenwick 
and Instagram at Mary V. Fenwick. For more about her one-to-one work and speaking, see maryfenwick.com. That's a picture of her. It's very casual, sort of leaning on her left elbow, looking away, almost in the distance, but with a smile as if maybe seeing a a tree that she hasn't seen since she was a child. So, oh, it's Bobby the tree. Oh, you've grown so big. And kind of, maybe that's, you know, that kind of look. Uh, hmm. So I'm look. It's a question, and it says at the end of each question, name supplied. Why well, don't you pr- pr- print the name then? So there's a few questions. Uh, nothing. Uh, I might have a little look another time. Urban mindfulness. That is a lady with a hat, with a denim jacket on, and her left hand is. It almost looks like she's got an invisible yo-yo dangling from her left hand in the right hand looks like she's pulling down the light switch of a bathroom you know a bit of string from the bathroom turn on the light switch and she's just looking really happy actually looks very happy it's all about urban mindfulness so it makes sense that she'd be happy. Oh, a man's got in. Look, David Pearl considers our approach to the unfamiliar faces we encounter in our day to day lives, then reflects on situations when the suspicious looking people are you and me. Okay. Oh, David Pearl. Okay, he's he's doing the urban mindfulness. Urban mindfulness, yeah. Keep a green tree in your heart, and perhaps a singing bird will come. It's a Chinese proverb, apparently. Ah. Hmm. I'm just looking at this. I'm just now. There's recipes which I kind of I don't know. Just uh, I used to look through magazines just stay with me I'm not going anywhere weird here you know the the old style magazines that maybe my grandmother used to read and maybe either were around in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s and uh, good housewife or good housekeeper and stuff like that and there'd be recipes in those magazines and I'm guessing this this magazine is kind of um, you know positively going against that and trying to present a, a much more equal uh, strong 
way of presenting uh, women, you know, so it's, but there are recipes in the back. And there's advert for kitchen utensils. I'm not even joking. And there is an advert Floridix magnesium liquid. I've not heard of that before. There's a lot of health um, osteo care as well. Hormonal imbalance, get clean marine for women. That's another big massive advert in pink. It's it's almost I don't know is because isn't part of the thing to not have pink and not to have blue you have to get away from those stereotypes but. I was quite surprised, it's very much aimed at women. There's another ad for Women Power water bottle. It's, I've never seen the most, the most women oriented magazine I've ever seen, I think. Yet, yeah, it's called Psychologies. And it doesn't say anything about you being uh, like a gender focused magazine. I mean, the articles are interesting, and I just find it. I just find it interesting. That every single copy is, and previous copies have got females on the front, which is what well, putting attractive females on the front of magazines is kind of what's been done for. Decades, isn't it, to sell magazines? I'm just kind of surprised it's used for a magazine aimed at female empowerment. Yeah. I suppose it's about choice. It's all about choice. Well, that's it anyway. I've wobbled on for way too long so I'm going to go thank you for listening take care of yourself and I'm going to google this magazine to see what it's all about I want to get I want to get a goss get a goss about it I thought there'd be some kind of funny bits in there, but I've not seen anything to really make fun of. It's a very earnest. It's, it's a very earnest magazine. So, I'll speak to you soon. Take care of yourselves. Remember to be kind to yourself. And I was saying that before I read it in this magazine. Because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.